Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you a, an OU battle against 741852BEC. For once, someone actually on YouTube, uh, there's a link to my opponent's channel in the description and in the annotations. Um, so, using the same team as before, uh, nothing new, changing up. Um, you know, I, I like this team okay. I know it doesn't do particularly well, but I like this team okay. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. As you can see from the layout and the first pane, I am leading off with my Galvantula as he leads off with um, Gliscor. I'm hoping that Gliscor and um, Mandibuzz as well actually aren't running the, um, the Defog, but I guess we're about to find out. So I go ahead and set up my Sticky Web, and he goes ahead and knocks off, so he doesn't go for the... Um, we can go for the Stealth Rock. That, to me, indicates likelihood being very high of there de being defogged somewhere. I actually don't have, um, so, you notice I don't have a single Water-type on my team, nor do I have an Ice-type Pokémon on my team. Uh, I mean, I do have, um, I do have Landorus with Hidden Power Ice, which should be able to one-hit, uh, KO Glassdoor. But, all in all, Right now I'm just trying to do a little bit of damage. Really what I'm trying to get at here is the free switch. I need the free switch out into someone um, so, so that uh, I don't have to take residual damage. Um, sorry, so I don't get hit by a knockoff or don't get hit by, I guess, a toxic. Although toxic's not that big of a deal because I do have a cleric on this team. But yeah, I really want the free switch in um, because there's no guarantee what Glyscore is going to do. Um, so he's revealed to me most of his set now. Knockoff, um, Protect, Toxic, and the fourth move is almost certainly Earthquake. I've never heard of a Gliscor not running Earthquake. That would be ridiculous. So I just go for another Giga Drain, uh, and, you know, he's recovering uh, more health than... Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a lot of health back, but, you know, he's Protect stalling me. Here he does just go for the Earthquake to take out Hugabug. Oh, no! Well, Hugabug down to 7 HP, then dies to Poison. Still, it's a dead uh, Galvantula. Really, it's a shame that Galvantula is... I mean, it's, it's not the best Pokemon, and really, Sticky Web isn't the best um, strategy, I guess you could say. I mean, I have a lot of Pokemon with middling speed, so that's why it's nice. Um, Aegislash actually gets hindered by... Um, really gets hindered by the Sticky Web, because Aegislash, you want to be slow so that you can play around with um, Stance Change and, you know, King Shield being... whatever. You get the idea. So here he makes the very obvious switch into Jellicent, and that's not particularly good because I'm ob obviously going to have to switch out and that um, class score is still around. Yeah, so of course it doesn't do, doesn't do anything and he gets the cursed body. It's like, oh no, you got cursed body. The hacks, the horrible hacks. It's so atrocious. But, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Interesting that he's running Cursed Body instead of Water Absorb. I frankly think that Cursed Body is the better ability because um, Jellicent has healing anyway. And, I mean, it has healing and recovery, so you, or recover, rather. Um, so you don't really need the additional health boost, and you don't need the Water-type immunity because it's already got the Water-type resistance plus really excellent defenses. So Cursed Body, I think, just adds a lot to the field. So I just go for the Hyper Voice to see how much it does, and man, that does nothing. And to add insult to injury, I get Cursed Body again, um, and he carries Hex. I don't, you don't often see Hex. Um, usually people just go for straight up Shadow Ball, but I guess if you're com if you're really committed to having your opponent be burned, it's not a bad move to have. I don't think it's a great move, honestly, but it's it's not the worst thing in the world, as you can see. So uh, I'm gonna want to have Bo healed here of um, burn, and so now Hex isn't really gonna do very much, and so I figure I just uh, the, what I'm trying to get into get into is a good um, uh, wish protect dynamic. But he gets the burn with the skull after this, and I'm like, come on, come on, man, really? I mean, okay, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to complain about the hacks too much because we're dealing with two pretty bulky stally pokes, and um, crits don't matter as much when you're in a stally situation. So, um, yeah, so I go ahead and go for another heal bell. Um, gotta be what I gotta do, uh, and he goes for a skull. And as long as I don't get burned, yeah. So I'm down to 22. Luckily, I have my leftovers. Uh, and I'm actually going to do a bit of Protect Stalling here. I'm doing the Calyx and seeing I'd, I'd really like to be at, the, um, at a little bit higher HP um, before I do anything else. So here I go ahead and go for Protect. 
and um, just gonna go ahead and use Scald. Interesting that I, well, I guess it hasn't had to recover. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure if even runs can recover. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. But you know, its health is basically up to full, and I haven't really even done anything. So here, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, no, I'm no longer disabled. Yay! Um, I go ahead and switch out here because I don't think my health is high enough that I can take the Scald. So I go out into Motoko, um, and that is my. Uh, Aegis Slash, and I'm like, please don't burn me. I said he gets a crit, but it eh, doesn't really do very much. The thing about Jellicent, especially this build, is that its special attack is not that good. So as long as I'm in stance, uh, as long as I'm in shield form, doesn't really matter. Uh, I am going to go ahead and go ahead, go for the Shadow Ball, really hope that it KOs, but um, based on how much like the Hyper Voice was doing, I'm not thinking the odds are good. Indeed, it's a two-hit KO, but that's not enough. Oh yeah, and I get the special defense drop. That's nice. So he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, doesn't matter. I mean, I've got the Cleric on this team, although my Cleric's health is really low right now. Um, and, you know, mo mostly this guy is... Mo mostly Motoko's move is Shadow Ball. That's the primary move here. So I'm... <clears throat> I am just going to go for another Shadow Ball as my opponent switches out. Does a rather weird move, in my opinion, going out into Gliscor, because Gliscor, while it's a physical wall, ain't no special wall. So I go for the Shadow Ball, and I KO, thanks to a crit, okay, thanks to a critical hit. Let's, let's call it like it is. Yeah, that was thanks to a crit. And without the crit, I would have been in not a good situation at all. So, yay, one kill for me, thanks to hacks. So, I don't know. Anyway, out now is going to come Hydreigon. Not going to want to stay in, obviously. Going to go out into Hitmon Top, which will resist the Dark Pulse if he's going to run the Dark Pulse. Uh, if he's going to use a Dark Pulse. Um, intimidate, you know, it's probably not going to help me. Interestingly, he uses Focus Energy, so that was kind of a WTF moment right there. But I guess if you're banking on the crits, go for it. Go for it. Uh, goes out now out into Jellicent. Uh, predicting my um, predicting my very obvious close combat, and that's fine. Just I I really could just switch out here, and probably should. Uh, I do carry. I think I carry the sucker punch. I'm pretty sure this. Yeah, he has sucker punch. Um, but uh, yeah, I could just go out into bow and hope for my opponent to go for like will o wisp, and indeed goes for the will o wisp. So this is great because I'm going to be able to cure Motoko's burn um, before. Bo dies. So Bo is going to have to die here. There's no way around it. Um, there, I mean, there's really no way around it. Um, but at least I'm going to get the one burn gotten taken care of. So great job for my little cleric, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I'm not really that happy because I am losing uh, a Pokemon that I kind of needed, especially considering he's got uh, let's see, he's got one uh, one dark type and or two dark types on this team, one dark dragon. Uh, and yeah, it would have been nice to have hyper voices around for those. So I lose both, but you know the sacrifice will not have been in vain. I say. So now I'm going to go out into Motoko, and I'm like, okay, uh, Shadow Ball, take it out. Except for looking at that health and remembering how much the last one did, I don't think it's going to take it out. It's going to take it low, but it's not going to take out that Jellison. And indeed, it doesn't. It gets down to just a little bit of health. Um, and I'm thinking, maybe I can survive the Hex because I'm not burned, but no. I mean, when in blade form, uh, Aegislash's defenses are nil, so not really surprising that I'm KO'd. So, but it's okay because uh, Jellicent's down to very, very little HP. Very little HP. So as I go out into Billy D. Williams, my Landorus, I'm like, Earth Power, definitely KO. Yeah, I really, I guess I don't have enough, I actually only have, I have two physical attackers on this team. Um, so maybe I should try to rebalance it to have a third. But anyway, here, I'm like, Focus Blast, kill it! And it misses. That was lame. That was very lame. And now here comes the Draco Meteor, and I'm like, shoot. That blows. So Billy D actually survives on 30, um, because he's awesome. And now he's gonna switch out, and... Yeah, I could, that could have been a dead Hydreigon. That could have been a dead Hydreigon. I almost guarantee you that would have killed the Hydreigon, but... Eh, hacks is hacks. Um, going for the Focus Blast. Look at how cool Focus Blast looks. But against Among Us, it ain't gonna do jack because it's freaking Among Us. Um, and I had, I have, what, Hidden Power Ice or Earth Power to go for. Uh, Earth Power would do more thanks to the um, Sheer Force boost. 
but even so, just gonna switch out. Go out into Cosmic F, really, there's, uh, because I'm predicting the Spore. Uh, instead he goes for the Giga Drain. Um, I was really predicting the Spore here, so that's why I switched out. Although the Giga Drain would have KO'd also, so, you know, either way, I need my to, I'm hoping to keep my Landers around for just a tad bit longer, just a little tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny bit. I go for the Stone Edge, I'm just basically, come on, put me to sleep, man. Use me as Sleep Powder so I can switch into something else. And indeed, here goes for the Spore, I'm like, thank you, thank you. Now with uh, Cosmic F asleep and useless, I can switch out into, uh, actually I've got one Pokemon left to switch out into. And really ain't the best situation. So I go out into my banded Dragonite, uh, and here I gotta make some choices because if I go for the Earthquake, that means he can send in two of his Pokemon that are immune to it. Then I go for the Fire Attack, then uh, that's not great. Uh, I you know, f Fire Punch just would. Well, I guess Fire Punch would have done more against um, Among Us, but less against um, Mawile. So Mawile Mega evolves here. Um, and uh, that is fine. Oh yeah, so we both switch out on the same turn, I guess. Um, so Puff, it decide, I do decide to go for Earthquake. It's at, um, the choice band is basically canceled out by the fact that um, I am banded. Uh, Puff survives on 3 HP thanks to that awesome ability, uh, multi-scale, and the fact that I was at full HP. I go out now into Cosmic F just to, so I can switch out moves. Uh, I mean, this game This game was over a while ago. This game was basically over at the first stage when... Oh, well, this, this game was basically over when I lost Bo. Uh, I really thought, you know, oh, Bo's just a cleric, doesn't don't really need it very much, but considering the Pokemon he has on his, on his team, I really kind of needed it. So, um, I lose Cosmic F. I just sent it in for Death Potter. That was fine. That's what I was expecting. And I go out into Puff, my Magic Dragonite. I'm going to go for the E-Speed so that he can't Sucker Punch me, and that will at least be one more dead Pokemon. So Mawile does go down, because I am banded, um, but looking at the Pokemon he has left, I mean, Extreme Speed is non-stab, it's not going to do that much. Out now is going to come Mandibuzz, freaking Mandibuzz. I hate Mandibuzz and Volibi, they're so freaking bulky, bulky, so hard to kill. This guy's obviously running a physically defensive variant. He goes for the, um, the Foul Play and Puff Faints, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon, who um, doesn't have, so the best I can do is Hidden Power Ice technically actually Focus Blast does more damage thanks to the Sheer Force boost, um, but either way it's not great. I go for the Focus Blast, it misses to add insult to injury, but it didn't really matter because I wasn't taking out that man was. There's no way. So Billy D faints, and that is the sad, sad game. So folks, hope you enjoyed this depressing battle. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.